If you watch the Friday Night Frenzy, you've probably seen him terrorizing opposing quarterbacks for West Lafayette High School. There's a lot more to the story, though, for this Red Devil standout. Sports 18's Andrew Pogar has the story. George Karloftis is not your average high school sophomore. George was born in Greece. The 15-year-old grew up playing several sports, but if you ask his mother, Amy... Water polo was something that his dad wanted him to do. It wasn't a sport that I ever played, so I didn't really know exactly how good he was. All I know is that he, every time they had a tournament, every time they had any kind of competition, in Athens, they always wanted George. George represented Greece on the national water polo team. It appeared George would take his athletic career to great depths, but then the unexpected happened in June of 2014. Oh, that was, that was bad, that was bad. I guess being the sports person that I am, I would say it was a curveball that I didn't see coming. George's father, Matthew, died of a massive heart attack. He was 44 years old. When he passed away, believe it or not, I haven't cried. He didn't cry. He was the only one home with me when I found out. I just remember him like falling to his knees saying, no, tell me, mom, it's not true. So he did not cry, but you could tell two days later, George wasn't little boy George anymore. George was a man. Two months after Matthew passed away, Amy packed up and moved the family to her hometown, West Lafayette. The man who shined in the water soon found a new sport, football. But George was initially reluctant to play. Eighth grade year, I did not want to play. I did not want to do anything with football. And that was because my dad got injured in college. And my mom was like, yeah, he got injured, so I don't know if you want to play. I thought about it, and then I came out freshman year. Football runs in the family genes. George's father was a tight end for the University of Miami in Florida, and his grandfather played for Notre Dame. It didn't take long for George to gain interest from Division I colleges, despite playing the game for just two seasons. He's scary. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he can... Uh... He can get on you in a hurry. Um, you know, you, you might think he's out of the play, and all of a sudden he's not only in on the play, he's making the play. While George has already received an offer from Indiana and taken an unofficial visit to Notre Dame, the six foot five, 245 pound defensive end is far from reaching his full potential. I think I could get 10 times better. Well, he's only 15, and he's played football for a year and a half. Um, his ceiling is incredible. From the pool in Greece to the gridiron in Indiana. One of George's strongest supporters is watching from above. Fittingly, George wants to follow in his father's footsteps. I've always liked Miami, really, because that's where my dad went. Miami's just been up there since I was a kid. I think he's the one that's being shocked right now. That we're turning it around on him. I think he would be shocked that his son is so phenomenal and has stepped up and is doing something so great and he's a well-rounded individual. I, I think he would be very, very proud of him. Once again, that was Andrew Pogar reporting. Karloftis led the Red Devils in tackles and sacks this past season. He placed sixth in the state in shot put last spring as a freshman, and he's a starter on the basketball team. Remember, just a sophomore. Cool story. That's it for sports. We'll be right back after the break.